Hey guys, Luke here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an inactive taken Twitter username in 2018. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. You know what it's like, you've just set up your brand new Twitter account and you've just thought of a really, really awesome name, only to find out that it's been taken by an account that hasn't tweeted in years or has just one follower. Now Twitter knows this is a problem, so that's why they've got certain procedures in place so that people that want a username are able to get it if it's taken by someone that's completely inactive on Twitter. And that's the method I'm going to be showing you today. So you're going to want to click on the first link in the description, and that's going to take you to Twitter's support page. So when you load up the page, you're going to see this report an account for impersonation. How can we help? It says an account is pretending to be me or someone I know. An account is pretending to represent my company, brand or organization. My account was suspended. I can't sign into my account. My account was hacked or compromised. Or someone is using my email address without my permission. You're going to want to click on an account is pretending to be me or someone I know. And then that's going to lead you to a few more options. So you've got, I am being impersonated, someone I represent is being impersonated, or someone else, a friend of mine, or someone I'm a fan of is also being impersonated. So you want to click on, I am being impersonated. And that's the method we're going to use in order to get an inactive Twitter account. Then you're going to want to scroll down to the form and you're going to want to type in the username of the account that you want to have in this field here. So I want this Twitter account. So I'm going to type that one in. And then you're going to want to type in your current username on Twitter. Notice that it's optional, so you don't need to put it in, but I'd suggest putting it in to give Twitter as much information as possible. Then you need to put in your email address. This should be the absolute best place that Twitter should contact you because if they want to give you that account, then they're going to want to let you know. And then the final two things here are two of the most important things. In the box where it says anything else you'd like to tell us, it says optional, but I definitely recommend putting something in this box. This is where you want to be as factual as possible. You really want to persuade Twitter and tell them that you're the deserver of that certain username. If you've got a website that also links to the username, then you can say, oh, I've got the appropriate .com address. And even if you don't have the website, I'd recommend going and having a look if it's actually taken or not, and then creating a quick website with um, one of those free website creators. Just put anything in here that you can really persuade Twitter to give you the username. Then finally, it says identity information. That says it's also optional, but you need to do that. That's where you're gonna wanna put your government issued photo ID in there and also any other appropriate information that you want to tell Twitter. The more stuff you put in here, the better, because the more proof you give Twitter, the more they're gonna to wanna to give you the username. Then all you need to do is click submit. And then you can expect to wait anything from a few hours to a couple of days. Just hang on in there, keep checking your emails and just see if Twitter responds to you. And if you gave Twitter enough information, they're probably gonna end up giving you the username. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please be sure to hit the like button down below. And obviously if you have any problems at all, be sure to leave them down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you